So months back, I posted a legendary farm, which I will state is not the fastest way to get legendaries. But what it does do is it allows you to roll one legendary armor piece every couple of minutes. What this means is this method allows you to actually decide what legendary you get. So if there's a specific armor piece you are chasing, this is no doubt the best method in the game in getting it. I'm covering this method again after the recent changes because there's no restrictions here in what you can be rewarded from doing this like there was before. So today I will explain exactly how this works for those this is new to and I hope it helps you guys out. How's it going guys my name's DPJ and if you enjoyed the video leaving a like really helps out and if you like what you see and want to see more Outriders be sure to subscribe. Okay, so this exploit involves doing the monster hunts for Noah, who is located upon Trench Town. When you initially go to him, you get to start a quest where you have to hunt monsters via multiple locations. These locations or the monsters can be found via the map where you can see your progress with them. Now for each monster hunt you do, Noah will reward you. But when you complete all the monster hunts and return to Noah, you get rewarded one random legendary armor piece. And while well, this is where the exploit lies. So once you've killed all the monsters, then head back to Noah. Within his inventory, you have to hand them in. And there's a simple method here when handing them in, which allows you to keep rotating the legendary until you get the armor piece you want. So cash in all the monster hunts within Noah's menu. Once you have, do not back out of his menu because backing out locks in that legendary reward and it auto saves it. Doing this means you cannot rotate it if it's not one you need. So stay within his menu. So you want to go to what are you selling. From this go to the sell tab. Once you are within this tab guys, you can actually see the legendary reward you got from Noah. If it's one you want, fine, back out of his menu and this legendary is locked in place, the game auto saves. If it's a legendary you already have and you do not need it and want another one, simply hard quit out of the game. Once you hard quit out of the game from this point, load it back up. And simply guys, rinse and repeat the process of heading back to Noah, cashing in the monster hunt bounties and checking while still in his menu, we are going to his items for sale and then going to the sell tab, what legendary you got. Again, if it's not one you want, hard quit out of the game, rinse and repeat this process guys, until you get that one you need. Now you can keep doing this, so let's say you want a full set of specific gear. These monster hunts are repeatable, so once you've cashed them in once and got that legendary reward, you can pick the quest back up and rinse and repeat it. And keep doing this until you get that full armor set you want guys, it is as simple as that. Like I said, it's more or less a re-upload because the first time I uploaded this, there was a lot of loot locked out of this loot pool. Now it seems every armor piece is available to get from Noah. What you can do to make it a lot quicker on yourself is cash in all but one uh, monster hunt bounty with Noah, then back out of his menu so it auto saves. So you've only got one to cash in, then go back into his menu, sell that final one, cash in that final one to him, then go to his items for sale and seeing if that legendary reward is one you want. If not, hard quit from here. Once you load back in, you'll only have to cash in one bounty with him. It saves you going through the entire process of every single bounty. But hey, how you do it is completely up to you, but it does work and I hope it helps you get that legendary you are chasing. So yes guys, a short but sweet video here today. If you enjoyed it, leaving a like really helps out. If you're new around here and want to see more outriders, be sure to subscribe. And if you never want to miss a video I upload, you can turn notifications on by hitting that bell button. But guys, thanks as always for stopping by and hopefully I will see you on that next one.